Let's talk about why the external fuel tank on the Artemis 1 rocket is orange. Now the second I said that, a bunch of you probably thought back to another vehicle that had an orange tank, which was the space shuttle. Now what many people don't know is the space shuttle didn't originally have an orange tank. It was actually white. The shuttle's external fuel tank was originally painted white partially because they thought it would help fend off the UV rays from causing damage while the shuttle sat on the pad, in addition to hopefully keeping the foam intact while the shuttle launched. The thing is, on a beast this size, that paint ended up adding an additional 600 pounds of weight to the flight, which was 600 pounds that could be used in extra payload. So after two test launches, it was determined that the shuttle's external fuel tank didn't have to be painted and it could remain that orange color of the insulating foam. Now, discussion did arise after the Columbia disaster of whether or not adding the paint back would benefit it. However, they decided at the time that this was not the direction to go and they implemented other safety measures. Now we fast forward to Artemis's orange external fuel tank. Apparently, this too was also originally painted white. And for the same reason as the shuttle, they decided to just leave it orange. Here's one of the original designs for the space launch system, and as you can see, that original core stage was white. However, planetary.org did report that they did receive some conflicting information on this, because a lot of people knew the reality was the white paint was not practical for something of this nature. Now, whether or not it was in the original design or determined later on down the line, Artemis 1 got to have the signature orange that we all know and love.